Bill here from Maple Leaf Enterprises with your quick DBA tip of the day. Today's tip will be how to create a wallet in Oracle Golden Gate. Uh, first step would be to log in to your box as your Golden Gate user, make sure your environment is set properly, and initiate the Golden Gate command line tool, GGSCI. Okay. Uh, we've got pretty straightforward steps here. Uh, default location is going to be in DIRWLT, which is going to be a subdirectory of your Golden Gate install. And here you're just going to type in a simple command and just say create wallet. It's going to go ahead and create it. It's going to open it and it's going to tell you where it is located. So that is your wallet folder. Next, you're going to want to add a master key. Basically, master key is just going to be a file. And we're going to do an add master key, right? It's going to tell you your master key was created, what the file name is. It's ours happens to be cwallet.sso. Uh, and then here, if we just do info master key, we have our wallet and master key now configured in our Golden Gate. Uh, now this file, if we exit out here and we go to dir wlt, okay, and you can see, let me do long listing, you can see we do get a wallet file that is just basically a file um, and it will set permissions and everything. Now this file, I can create it. Once I've created it in this, Golden Gate instance, I can copy this and move this to my other Golden Gate instances uh, in order to keep my wallet and master key information consistent across all of my Golden Gate environments. And that is it. That's how you create a master key and wallet in Oracle Golden Gate. So I hope that was helpful. Um, if you get a chance, check out my website, dba.mapleleafnj.com. Thank you and have a great day.